Good morning, driver. Today you will be pushing 60103 to the limit, trying to exceed 100 miles an hour. Where the line allows, another driver will take over at Peterborough. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Train Sim World 4. Today we are on uh, one of my one of my scenarios. Just whipped it up. Um, <clears throat> we're here at Doncaster, and we're going to Peterborough. We're basically, just doing a speed test. Um. To see how fast it'll go. Oh, I hate that checkered effect on the on the front. Unless that's real, but I don't assume it is. Um, there's lots of stuff coming and going. I've plonked lots of AI down, as you can see. Uh, I got a bit of snow, but otherwise we're not. Why the fuck are you using your diesel engine? Uh, yeah, we got a bit of snow, but other than that, nothing much going on. Uh, we shall. Get everything set up. It would appear our fireman has mysteriously disappeared. That's all right. Um, get the cylinder cocks. They would be open, wouldn't they? Yep, they're already open. Large ejector, fully open. Brakes off. Uh, I have absolutely no idea which brake mode we're using, so I'll just leave that alone. And um, the speedo is up here, so just bear that in mind. Get out of here, we'll close the large ejector, but we'll leave the small ejector fully open. And we depart, very slowly. It's another 801 in the background. Where did that other 801 go? Is that... Snuck it off down the slow lines. Yeah, alright. Oi! Let's bring the reverser back a little bit more. Oh, Christ. Yeah, she doesn't... doesn't go very quickly. Doesn't like leaving. Close the cylinder cocks. Hmm. I pull the steam back even more. I found on the Jubilee that was a easy way to get it to take power. That seems to be working. Seems to be working all right, actually. Right, there's 10 mile an hour. And now you can give it a bit more power. Oop, or not. Head out, so you can see all the rods. And yeah, we basically just have this flat out, fully open, trying to go as fast as possible. Right, a bit more power. Honestly, I have to say, I'm not a fan of the way the snow is sitting on the tracks. I don't think that's fantastic, but... Whatever. Okay, we'll go full power there. And now we can... Uh... Is that... Would appear to be uh, slipping a bit. Are we slipping? Yes. Quite a lot. Right, come on. Let's not slip all over the place. What's the gradient? Okay, we're going downhill, so that'll certainly help us. And we're hauling. I believe an empty train, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong about that. Oh god. Yeah, empty train, but it's a full train. Okay, we'll go a bit more power. And a bit more steam.
Coming through 35 miles an hour. Bit more steam. Bit more power. I think we're slipping now. Yep. Oh, bloody hell. It really struggles to find traction, this, this uh, engine. Really doesn't like finding traction. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how fast we can get. Hope I mean, this thing has done 100 miles an hour in real life, so hopefully we can exceed that a bit. All right. How are we going on the steam? Hey, okay, got lots of pressure. So we'll try a little bit more in the tank a little bit more reverser if you're wondering what the two controls are the reverser is sort of like the gearing and um, and the regulator the accelerator so uh, it, if we have the reverser fully out in 75 percent which is max power effectively um we can accelerate quicker but uh we can't go as fast whereas if we have it uh, much further back, we accelerate much slower, um, and it's harder to climb hills and such, but we can go much faster. Um, and there's a lot of complicated mechanics behind that, but I won't bother going into. Right, we've got a double yellow. That's not something to be concerned about yet. I think we'll go full power now. And we'll just drop this to uh, 46 just to hide that thing off the HUD. And we'll be uh, brought down to that double yellow just because that 801 has probably just nipped ahead of us. At remarkably low speeds. What's that about? Is that because it's running on diesel? That'd be a right pain in the ass. Should we have a look? Let's have a look. Just right. So that is still single yellow. The 801 in front will. Okay, it's picking up speed, but um, that's just gone past the signal, so I think we're all right for now. So we'll keep going. Yeah, we just got that uh, single yellow. They can get up to, the Azubas can get up to 90 odd miles. Oh, we haven't set um, headlights up. Let's do that. I think that's an Express. There's an Express. These lot. Let's put all of them on. High intensity. Oh, yeah, we probably should, shouldn't we? What, that's Royal, is it? With the... Royal train. Yeah, we'll just stick. Stick the two high powers and the one on top. Oop! Oh, that one is still red. Okay. Oh, just gone up to green. All right, that's fine. And W yellow. Try and fly ahead and just see where this uh, eight oh one is going. How how we how we're looking over there. I would imagine we're going to take quite a while to accelerate 
because I'm not great at handling steam engines. Um, and the Azuma, even though it would appear to be in diesel mode, which can do about 90 miles an hour. We'll probably struggle to get much above 100. Christ alive, what was that? Right, there is a uh, single yellow, so we're all right there. Just whack the um, AWS acknowledge as we approach that uh, signal on the track monitor. Oh man, this is uh it's quite a while ahead, isn't it? It's quite far ahead. And we're dropping speed ever so slightly as we uh come up that incline. Come on, where's this bloody train? Must be rounded somewhere. Start mashing AWS acknowledge again. Oh man, they even put the guardrails in between the tracks. Oh, look out. They'll be checking their bugs before release next. Oh my goodness, where's this trainer? Let's keep mashing. Where is it? Okay, well, it's much further ahead than we are. Oh! Wow, all right. Yeah, I don't think its location is much of a concern at the moment. It certainly seems to be going a fair bit faster than we are. What's the incline at the moment? Oh, it's downhill. Come on then. Right, we're on greens now, so that's all right. Pull the reverser back slightly. Just to capitalise on the gradient. No, restriction to 110. But we're only doing 45, so uh, I think we might be alright. What does our gradients look like? Okay, so we've got a, quite a significant gradient down for the next few miles. Should be able to... Uh, Really lay down some territory now. Lay down some territory? What does that even mean? Confusing myself. It's always a good start. That snow looked particularly hideous under the bridge, but you know, what can I say? What can I say? Right. Okay, ever so slightly faster now, so perhaps we'll go a bit more bit more reverser. Let's try and grab that acceleration. Right, that's... 55 miles an hour. Right, we'll pull back on the reverser now. Hour. 38%. See what that does. Uh, 
does look pretty cool with that kick out. I'll give Dovetail that. Yeah, there's 60 miles an hour. At this speed, it will take a mere 67 minutes to finish the journey. But hopefully we can push it to 100 and uh, race along a bit faster than that. You know, maybe even push it above 100. Basically, we're just going to go and see how, how quick we can get this thing. How quick. There's 30... See what that can do. Okay. Crawling through 65, maybe you need a bit more reverser. See what 38% will do if we can accelerate a bit quicker on that. Oh yeah, okay. 67. How's this gradient? Oh, that's the wrong one. Gradient. Oh, okay, so we're going to be climbing. Be a challenge. But we're on the, f on the level now. 68. That's good. Let's go a bit more. Sixty-nine. Can we push seventy on this uphill? That would be an achievement. I'll just pop the HUD up so I can literally look at each individual pixel on my monitor and see if we're increasing speed. is absolutely stationary. I go a little bit more reverser. What's that doing? A bit quicker. Oh, 70. Nice. Good stuff. All right, that looks to be doing it. If I went a bit more... Oh, I say, okay. Still got lots left. Right, well, we'll leave it in 49% then. I think we probably should have left it above 50% for, for a while, but we have broken 70 miles an hour, so I'm not complaining. There's 71. About as pointless that whistle as a bell on a US locomotive. But what's it for? Because if you can't hear this thing racing along. So that is particularly hideous, that mesh. Just all flat, nothing's blended. Oh, do you want some, some nice epilepsy there? Is there any coal? Oh, there is. Yeah. It'd be nice if there was like actual coal running out mechanics or water running out. And you had to actually refill the thing. Unless there is, and I just don't know about it. Nice. Still cooking at 73. That was not the right thing I wanted to do. Might start pulling back a bit now. We'll go 45%. Okay. 
and we're approaching the service limit of the uh, Scotsman of 75. Let's see what my pixels are doing. Are they retreating? Would appear they might be. If I went more power, what would that do? Oh! Got a bit of a AWS action there. There's no way we've caught up to the uh, to the 801. If I pulled that back to 40%, what would that do? Oh, okay, drop off very quickly. Right, we'll leave it in 49%. We'll just see what it has to do. Single yellow? Really? Oh, is that approach control? Oh, it's shoving me into a... Really shoving me into a... Into the run-through track. Why the fuck is it sticking me in there? We've just come up. To 75, and now... Illegal. Right, well, we'll try and keep going for, uh, oh, let's, um, yeah, get the, Christ. Yeah, and that's bled all the way back down to 10 miles an hour. That's very helpful. Bloody hell. Yeah, there you go. It's not ideal. Not ideal. But the signal's still red, so we'll chill here anyway. My goodness, is that ever going to clear? Aha! Good. I hate approach control. Uh, no, approach control's fine. I hate what this game... How it manages pathing. It's particularly infuriating. And there's a very steep climb out of the station. So what we were at, we're now back to square one. Right, well, good. Let's see what we can do without exceeding 40 miles an hour. We'll try and get up to that. Oh, if we're getting rooted via the, um... The local lines in the quad tracking. I'm unfortunately going to have to kill someone. Okay, thank God we're not. Dovetail may live. Oh, and there's an Azuma here. Through Redford, I think this is, or is it Grantham? Redford, yes.
Are you in diesel mode? Can't tell. Oh, nice lag there. Honestly can't tell. But we are coming back onto the main line. At some point, ever? Yes, no, maybe. Are we on the main line? Oh, only now, okay. A bit more power. We need everything we have coming up this hill. Go full power. And we'll give it the beans. Okay, that's a bit too much beans. Yeah, Christ alive. What are you doing? Yeah. Too much. Is that still slipping? Yes. Sand, come on. Back at a whopping 40 miles an hour. If I leave the regulator down and push the reverse of full forwards. Let's see what that does, shall we? Right, just passing 40 miles an hour again. Oh, fantastic. Go a touch more regulator. Forty one. No, back to forty. A very steep incline. Right, we'll pull that back slightly. Eight driver assist. I wish that could just be turned off. Bit of sand just as I lay down some more power. Is that too much power? You see, what is driver assist on about? Nothing, literally nothing. I put that fully forwards. A bit more power. A bit more power. A bit more. Right, now it's not a fan, so now we can pull back. Oh, driver assist is such a pain in the ass. Oh my goodness gracious, be quiet. <laughs> Driver assist, my ass, not assisting me. Is misleading, because I deliberately cut the reverser back. To get that message to piss off, but it... False information. Right, we'll pull it back to 63%. See what that does.
I mean, we're putting on decent acceleration and we're going uphill, so up a very steep hill. I think I've discovered the secret. Just ignore dovetail. Seems to be the way to go. Get a bit more power. We go full power now. Indeed we can. And we're getting lower pressure which I will balance. I'll pull back the reverser slightly. You can see we're not accelerating slowly. We are making progress. Right, there's 50 miles an hour, halfway there. And the hill is leveling out, about to go downhill, so about to get a good run. flat. All oh, the pixels are coming across now. A little bit more. Should I pull back? Let's pull back. To wait till the pressure starts to rise. Right, well, okay, we'll put it in 49 now just to get that message to piss off. But we are back up at. in the region of 60 miles an hour. If we get run through any platform roads again, I am. I'm, I'm going to kill, I'm going to have to kill someone from Dovetail. They're going to have to give me a blood sacrifice, right? We're not getting put through any silly relief roads there. Not getting pushed through any silly platform roads there. Not getting put through anything silly there either. The train? would appear we're good for the next for the next quite a while that wasn't English and then more or less all the way into Peterborough we're all right good that is what I like to see a bit more reverse uh, like or a bit less. Oh, that's stifling things. I need a bit more reverser still. Right, so it looks like we've got about five miles left on this hill. Hopefully we can get up some speed in that time. Oh, very steep now. I like the look of that. Seventy again. Good, good. Speedo inching its way round to that hundred mark. Seventy three. Seventy four. Seventy-five. Yes. Right, we're three quarters of the way there now. You love to see it. Pull back the reverser now. Two 
So only now at 80 miles an hour, more or less, have I pulled it below the the point that the driver assist starts stops yapping at me. That's ridiculous. And boiler pressure is on the rise. Slightly. Passing 80 miles an hour. Uh, what is that? What, 80% of the way there? I'm just reading off the number. It's whatever the number is, percent. Right, pull the reverser back a little bit more. Try and build up some pressure as we go into the uphill. 83, come on! Still pummeling down. And then we got a flat, so... The flat will really test my uh, my train handling, but hopefully, if I can get the flat to work, we'll be um, all good for the rest of the journey. Eighty-five. Bit of stutter. Did I miss that? Yeah. Been a good screenshot opportunity, but now uh, whatever. Oh well. Okay, we're starting to get Dovetail's signature glitch mechanics. Pull the reverser back a touch more, and we're on the level now. Oh no, we're decelerating. Bit more on the reverser. Bit more on the reverser. There's still a bit more on the reverser. Yeah, oh my goodness, it wants more. So driver assist is completely pointless. It has absolutely no purpose at all, is what we've discovered here. Look, does it even want more than 50 still? No, okay. We'll leave it at 49, just so the messages don't keep flagging up. But... And we're still going. Going uphill at any point? Yes. But we should be able to sort of catapult ourselves over. And we are still accelerating, so that's alright. I'm just not super concerned about boiler pressure only concerned about acceleration that is the top priority of this of this run go quickly speed and power as some may say how's that going Not quite so well, okay. Right, we've got a little ascent there, but we're off that now. Pulled the reverser back a bit, but we're bleeding a bit of speed. I reckon maybe I should go a bit more. Yeah. Even though driver assist is going to have a nightmare in a moment. Yep, there we go.
Also, the accelerometer in this instance is completely pointless because it's literally the acceleration is so minute, it's within the margin for one pixel's worth of movement. So it looks completely stationary. But we good if we could scale the accelerometer to some extent, or if it automatically scaled itself. Or like on Munich uh, to Augsburg, where it's coloured. Or in the G6, where it's a green band instead of this fake crash test dummy-esque thing. Right. If I pull the reverser back a touch... What does that do? Not a lot. Oh man, that's a steep hill, isn't it? Just waiting for Stoke Bank now, unless we've already come down it. Pretty sure that's on the quad track, though. Between Peterborough and Grantham, so yeah, we haven't gone past it. Well, that is a particularly steep hill. Right, so we're still not quite at Stoke Bank yet. But we are going a little bit downhill. So I'll take that. And uh, this is Newark, so we've still got one more station before we get to the uh, famous stretch. I will look at the. East Coast Mainline Gradients. Oh, here we go. Does this have all of the things? Yeah, okay. If I have Grantham. Grantham Station. Search. Send any... It's a search, not a... That's London King's Cross all the way up. There's Peterborough there. Get 76 miles. So there's about Not that helpful, actually, but okay. Sorry, I was just looking up a gradient diagram on the interwebs. That wasn't very helpful, but... Right, I'll leave it in 49 so we can try and recover some sort of... Uh, some sort of speed or just save it so that when we when we hit stoke bank we can really just rock it down
might just see what happens if I knock it down to 40%. If I wait... Oh, okay, let's not, just whilst that's uh, on such a steep incline. Where did that come from? Yeah, when you're ready. Um, see what happens if I knock it down a lot and cut the power. See what happens to boiler pressure. No, we're gonna bleed speed here, but I try and retain boiler pressure. Higher boiler pressure, say. Will we retain speed any better? And it would not appear so. Alright, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. So that is Grantham. Which we are close ish to. We're about halfway there. It's only taken 47 minutes. Oh, there's our uh, freight train, one of them. This is quite a steep hill, this one. I feel like there might be a reasonably steep decline at the end of it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there's one of them. Right, next time we get to a um, steep drop, I will shut off the power just so that we can get a bit more boiler pressure out. Because I think if we can get boiler pressure, then just leaving it, even just at 49%, that will get further. While still having the higher reverser. come off the power slide. What does that what will that do? Not bleeding speed as fast as I was expecting actually. Holding that relatively stable. Right, where does the hill end? About about five miles? Is that five or six miles? Okay. Oh, that's very steep. Don't like the look of that. I haven't once clipped a hundred miles an hour. Tell you what though, if we hadn't been brought back down to Zilch through Retford, we would have been up to like 110 by now. So yeah, back to square one from that turn. I mean, luckily there was a big hill there, but the re right pain in the ass. You know, whinge about that till I die. At least we got some speed up now, so it won't take. As long, you know, we're cracking at quite a low speed. But yeah, we're holding it reasonably stable there. Not like this is a prolonged hill. It's not fun. Let's have a look, shall we? And see where other trains are, if in fact there are any at all. 
much there. It could well not be. Right. No, there, there are. Okay, that's fine. All bleeding speed now. Not fun. Drop below seventy. Not good, not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I might see if I can actually get those gradient diagrams to work for once. The Railway Data Center. Gradient Profiles. Grantham Station. Right now, I'm dropping the speed. We'll stick the uh, reverser a bit higher. See what that does. Right, we must be getting up. Oh, still a climb on a ground thing, okay. isn't the easiest thing to, to work. This gradient profile, but that's not super helpful. Alright, well we'll just stick back to this. See what happens. Oh, there's a downhill. A brief downhill. Try and recover some speed there. Man, I hate dovetail games. I hate driver assist. can't release a single new feature without breaking the rest of the game. Tragedy. And another super steep hill. Right, there's a 100 limit. Oh, downhill. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Lovely extra little dab of speed. Just as we run through. Oh my 
good grief. That that's quite a nasty looking hill that is. Right, we might be crawling up the top of this. Unless I can keep my train handling in check. So it'll be difficult. Or oh, bleeding speed. Bring in more power, what does that do? If I go full power, what does that do? Bleed faster, okay. About 55%. No, faster still. I think we just got to take our losses here, I reckon. It's going to be a difficult climb, I reckon. Difficult climb. Uh, take a quick inter intermission and grab a photo. Why not? Why not? It's, it's not a great angle. Yeah, how about... Come back here. And now take the photo. Where's the train? There. That's always a good starting point, knowing where the train is. Oh, this bloody embankment sort of in the way a bit. No, it's a bad place. Let's keep going. Keep going. Scout any potential locations. Oh, just here. All right. Just if the woods kind of pissed off. Guess I could make this work. Right, and we'll go here. Come out to this side. See if I can get this field of view. Tree is right in the way. Okay, and I reckon we'll pump saturation. Yeah, maybe not. Draw down the exposure a lot, up the saturation and up the brightness. Can we go a bit more saturation? Why not? Why not? Depth of field to zero, focal point. There? And I'll take that. I will take that. Right, Gauling climb, but there is the Stoke Bank coming into view, I believe. I hope. I hope. So, a couple minutes of pure agony. Mechanical agony, and then, I don't know, mechanical orgasm. We'll see. Oh, this is the joyous signing that we got pulled over in the HST. Sit and wait for 20 minutes. 
That was fantastic, wasn't it? Right, how close? Two miles, alright, two minutes. Or oh, just over at this speed. Agonizing the uh, high deceleration. I see, if I bung this into full power, are we gonna claim back any any speed? No. No, not there. Not there. If I pull back anymore, I don't think we're going to get there either. Alright, that's not bad. We'll hold there. 60 seems to be the magic number. If I go below that, what happens? Eh, it drops a little bit. We'll leave it in 60. We are about to go speed machine mode. Hopefully rocket the rest of the way into Peterborough. Hopefully. Going for over an hour. It's appreciation for how uh, powerful it's not really power, it's more torque. Because these things are very powerful, but it's just very hard to control. And I'm sure a skilled engine could do a far better job than I can. Right, we're about to go over. I think... Can you see that? Oh my, you can too. I think... You can see the crest. Unless that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. No, that is indeed the crest. And we go over. Oh, one in... One in one seven eight. It's looking good. The accelerometer has moved. I'll drop the reverser and we'll see what gravity can do for us. Or should I leave the reverser high? Yeah, that's probably the best plan. Oh, this is this is nice. I like this. Suddenly, pretty good. We still got six miles. Look at that speed graph. Six miles of bliss. Right, there's seventy again. Seventy two. Seventy three. Mallard did a hundred and twenty six at the bottom of this hill. It's still six miles of downhill. Seventy five. Seventy six. Seventy seven. I like that. Seventy 
80. There it is, a little flat bit. Oh, we should be back on the uh, on the downhill in a moment. What does it want? Yeah, there we go. Lovely and steep again. Still got six miles of downhill. Oh, steep even more. Back to that magical one in 200 figure. We pick up speed once more. Right, come on, you beauty. A three. Come on, keep going. 84, nice. I still got downhill for six miles. A5, inching ever closer, ever closer. Eighty six. Getting more and more pressure as well. Seven. Ninety, good stuff, good stuff. Just a bit more. Still got six miles of downhill. Could we get to one ten? Could we get to one twenty? Could we break Mallard's record? I wonder. Ninety one. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. Just trying to balance the pressure. Trying to get as much pressure as I can. Ninety-four. Come on, 95. Right, that's the bottom of the hill. We got six miles to get to 100 miles an hour. 96. Come on, you good thing. 97. Fantastic. 4 on the flat. That's alright, we got lots of pressure, we're going to hold that. Back on the downhill, back on the downhill. Good, good, good. Still got 6 miles of downhill.
Can we push it to 100? Come on. Oh, that's quick. That is quick for a steamer. Oh, there is 98. One more percent. Flashing green, that's good, I like to see it. No, no, no. Down, hit, down, no, uphill. Oh no, that's alright. Brief, brief uphill and then downhill again. That is okay. Yes, good stuff. Just as steep again. Can we do 99? Can we do 99? Come on. Let's get it there. I'll feed all the steam you want. There you go. There's 99. Just about. Yeah, there it is. Come on. Get it to a hundred. Oh, look at that. After a mere hour and 12 minutes. It has been done. Pull the reverser back. Let's try and build up a bit more steam. As we race through at a hundred. Surprised there's no achievement for that, honestly. I'm quite surprised. But we're still downhill. Probably all the way into Peterborough we're going downhill. All back to 99. Come on. Let's push it to push it to 110 even. Probably not. Come on, 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour. Okay. Yes. Good. Bit more reverser. And push it to 101. Let's go for it. Let's let the steam out. No. Oh, so close. So, so close. But we have made it to 100. We have made it to 100. That is all that matters. That is what I set out to achieve. That is what we have achieved. And it'll only take an hour and 20 minutes. Fantastic. Where's the train? Oh, there. Yeah, it helps when you find the train I'm trying to take a, take a picture of. Yep. If I, I can pull way back here. Way back. And even further back still. Focal points. Okay, so that is... Doesn't like that. 
clearly. See what we can do here. Okay, and exposure perhaps will jump up, brightness will lower, saturation perhaps will drop down slightly. Nice. And I think we can just cruise in at this. More or less just uh, catapult ourselves in from now on. Still got it in full power, we've still got it in uh, quite a um, high gear effectively, so we'll race in there five minutes maybe. Imagine how how difficult it would have been to shovel all the coal in. And I've seen um, the videos of uh, your foot plates and engine men and firemen and whatnot. It looks like truly difficult work. Like even for the driver, let alone the the fireman, just the driver wrestling with the controls, wrestling with the reverser, the regulator, everything else. Blowers still in the cocks. You name it, they're wrestling with it. But they produce these glorious things. And as well, I'm surprised I've gone an hour and 20 minutes without even talking about Flying Scotsman's uh, recent um, upset, shall we say. A bit of a prang. Um, but I read on the news this morning that she is set to to run again after a brief inspection it was like pranged into her coaches i believe a coupling incident a bit of a climb up but peterborough is just on the other side of that I mean, that says five miles that says six is that because it's as the crow flies no hmm. okay whatever Let's see what's happening on the other side of the cab. Lovely six-track mainline. What's not to love? Cruising in, there's another flashing green. Oh, I love this signal mod got um is it london midlands signal mod installed at the moment which makes visibility from a farm much nicer much more bearable right 3.5 miles what does the speed limit look like? Okay, we're coming in on the uh, fast lines, so... No speed restrictions, no approach control, none of that to, to dither around with. I'm considering splitting this up into two parts, but I reckon that'll be a bit of a burglary for people who watch the first part. Oh, I'll just let you... Uh, all watch it in one part, I reckon. No, no, it doesn't really lend itself to being split. Like, if there's a station stop in the middle, then I can sort of see that. But there is not, so we shall not. No, nope, we've got some kind of funky approach control going on here. Does that AWS thing actually do anything? Does it work? It wouldn't appear so. Right. Let's go for some brakes. Ooh, Christ alive. Stutter City approaching Peterborough. My golly.
Oh no, there is a speed restriction. Okay. My mistake. Okay, coming back now through 60. And 50. We'll blast off some of that. Some of the brakes. Oh, there's a uh, freight train in the platform. Grab the cylinder cocks open. We'll ease her into the platform. An initial application seems to be doing all right. 24, 23, 22, 20. Right, I'll bail that off. Thank you, be quiet. This is our lovely Class 66. And there we go. Emergency brakes. Come in here and close the small ejector. And that is the end of our record-breaking run. Well, not really record-breaking. I think this got up to 101 miles an hour, but we'll call it record-breaking run. We will call it that indeed. Let's see what else we got around here. Just got the, uh... I don't know what else there's to look at. It's just this, uh, 66. Aggregates, and, uh... In a suspiciously clean... DB Shanker. Oh, lock the doors. Okay. That is all good with me. Oh, look at that speed graph. All over the shop. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's only taken a long time. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.